This is Echo 3, and let's discuss Kraken Drives. In this video, we're going to look at two different styles of Kraken Drives, neither of which require any of the DLCs to work. This is the original Kraken Drive. It takes advantage of the glitchiness of the landing gear. Landing gear have been a little glitchy ever since I have played the game, and this is on version 1.2. 12. This is the latest version of the game, and this crack and drive still works. The way this works is I decouple a section of the craft from the main craft. The decoupled section has landing gear and some kind of plate that I can push against. The main craft, I have a bottom plate that the landing gear press against, and I have the air brakes that I am able to control and press down on the landing gear section, creating the Kraken force. And the force is not constant. As we get a little higher, all of a sudden the force will increase, and we can accelerate, we can actually accelerate all the way up to light speed if we want to. I don't really want to in this case. I'm just trying to get into orbit. So my main craft has these I-beams, and then my second craft with the landing gear, I have cubic struts, and I've created some kind of like rail system that just keeps everything in place. Otherwise, I mean, I'm putting a lot of force down on the landing gear. It wants to twist, and so if I can keep everything as straight as possible, the Kraken force will end up being fairly consistent and get my craft to go the direction I want it to. You can get more elaborate if you want to use the Breaking Ground DLC, and you can use a piston instead of the air brakes, and then you don't have two separate crafts, and the piston can push down, and you can get a Kraken Force that way. Same effect, it's just now I only have one single craft instead of two separate crafts. I'm using the air brakes to press down, which, because I am using the air brakes, the craft is kind of... Uh, has a throttle of sorts, I guess. I can change the deployment angle. I had hoped to be able to recouple the landing gear section to the main section. I have docking ports on both. I don't think I allowed quite enough travel distance to uh, let them recouple together again, but that is possible. Probably if I spent a few more hours tinkering with this, I could get it to work better. I already spent probably two hours trying to get this exactly where it is. And there are plenty of YouTube tutorials if you want to look up different Kraken drives for yourself. But the basics of this is you have something that pushes down on the other craft and use the landing gear that press against a bottom plate. I'm using the engine plates from the Making History DLC. You don't have to use those. You can use any of the structural panels. The same idea will work. I just like the way these looked on my particular craft. I found that having the reaction wheel on the main craft was very helpful. It gave me just a little extra control because the Kraken Force doesn't necessarily line up exactly with the center of mass, and this just gave me better control over the craft. I threw on some RTGs to get constant power, and this does work out, but you cannot use it the way I have it under regular time warp. Physics warp, kind of yes. Regular time warp, no. That is a downside of the original Kraken Drive you can maybe do the docking port idea that I was trying to do, or just use the breaking ground pistons and get the same effect with one single craft, and you can have your own light speed capable craft. This is the newer style Kraken drive. It is the Zompi docking port drive. I remember when Zompi posted this on Reddit showing how he actually did this. And remarkably, this is an extremely simple, very effective crack and drive. I don't know why no one found this any sooner. This was, you know, about a year ago that he discovered this. Remarkable. So all we're going to do here is we're throwing down a reaction wheel, a battery, and an RTG. This is just to give us uh, constant power and control over the craft. I'm going to throw on a command chair so Jeb can test this craft out. Then the only thing we need from this point on are two docking ports. 
And this is really simple. So we're going to put one docking port facing down, and I'm going to get rid of the docking acquire force there. And then we need a second docking port, and I'm just going to put this on. I'm going to use the offset tool and shove it down and put it below the other docking port, giving a little bit of space there. That is probably adequate. I like to throw a structural panel between the two docking ports just in case they try to connect and this way they will not be able to because if they connect then the craft won't work anymore. So this isn't necessary, it's just a step that I like to do. Really the craft is done and functional, but I'm just going to do this because I like it. The way this is going to work then is I leave the top docking port to have no acquire force and the bottom docking port I can adjust the acquire force from 0 to 200 percent and that will be how I get force from this craft. Let's throw Jeb on here. He loves testing things out. Alright, let's deploy. And this is very easy. All I do is increase the docking acquire force here. I'll turn on SAS to make this a little bit more controllable. And the great thing about this particular drive is that the force is constant. Unlike the Kraken drive with the wheels, the force is not constant. I mean, it's different depending on your altitude. This just works. Now, you can get more creative with this if you want. Again, with the Breaking Ground DLC, people have been able to make this throttleable with pistons and how close or far away the docking ports are from each other. If they're far enough away, they won't even acquire. And if they get just the right distance apart, you get the most force out of it. Then you can bind your piston angle to your throttle and have a really well-controlled craft. You can also use multiple of the bottom docking port there and get more force out of this. So I just have one, but you could use, well, eight clipped together, you can use 16 clipped together if you want, but for a simple craft like I have, this works. Now I have a few other tutorials on how to exploit the Cal 1000, but you can check those out if you want. I am Echo3, and thanks for joining me on this discussion about Kraken Drives. I'll see you next time.